Hello viewers, in this lecture video, we are going to derive an expression for electric field intensity for an infinite sheet of charge using Coulomb's law. We will be using cylindrical coordinate system to find out the final expression. Equation A written here is the general expression for electric field intensity for surface charge distribution. Now let us define our problem. Let us have a sheet of paper like this and we have uh, three mutually perpendicular axes. This red pen uh, represents your x-axis, this black pen your uh, y-axis and this blue pen is your uh, z-axis and this is the infinite sheet. Now our objective is to find out the electric field intensity at this point that is at the uh, tip of the pen. Uh, this uh, let us assume that uh, this height of this uh, blue pen is h to find out the value of electric field intensity at this point we have to consider a differential area like this on the sheet of charge and from ds we have to construct a distance vector starting from ds and terminating at the point where electric field intensity is to be estimated now we are going to transfer the demonstrated contents into a pictorial representation here. Now these are three reference axes x, y, z as I have shown you with pen. Then this uh, red color markings is the infinite sheet of charge where z is equal to zero. So this is the point where electric field intensity is to be estimated this height is assumed to be h so this point will be 0 comma 0 comma h now to determine electric field intensity at this point a small differential area ds is taken on the infinite sheet of charge now a position vector is constructed from ds towards this point p Position vector is constructed from ds terminating at the point. So this is r vector. Now we have defined our problem and from this problem we have to estimate the value of ds, ar and r vector and we are going to substitute in equation a. In uh, equation a, e vector is the expression for electric field intensity for surface charge distribution here uh, epsilon 0 is the uh, permittivity of free space rho s is the surface charge density ds is the differential surface area r is the vector extending from ds to the point p this is a distance vector and uh, ar is the unit vector along r vector now we are going to find out the value of ds AR and R vector from the given figure and we are going to integrate this and we will be reaching the final result. So this is our R vector. To find out the value of R we have to choose the alternate path from DS to the point P. So the alternate path from DS to P is start from DS reach the origin from origin we can reach this point P. This height is h, this distance is rho. If you multiply a rho with this rho, we can write the vector representation of this line. Similarly, h into a z is the vector representation of this line. Now we can write the expression for r vector. r vector is equal to minus rho a rho plus h a z. A negative symbol has been used here. The reason is that when we move from ds to origin, the value of rho is going to decrease. That's why we have used minus here. Similarly, when we move from origin towards the point p, the value of h is going to increase. That's why we have used a plus symbol here. So this is the expression for r vector. Now modulus of r vector will be equal to root of rho square plus h square modulus of r vector the whole square. 
will be equal to rho square plus h square. Now we are going to write the expression for the unit vector along r. AR vector is equal to r vector by modulus of r vector. So this is equal to r vector minus rho a rho plus h a z divided by root of rho square plus h square. So this is the expression for unit vector. Now our third objective is to find out the value of ds. In a cylindrical coordinate system, ds can take three possible values. They are rho d rho d pi, d rho d z, rho d pi d z. So depending on the type of the problem, we have to choose uh, one among these three possible values. So uh, in our problem, we have an infinite sheet of charge like this. This is our z axis and uh, this is the differential surface taken on the sheet of charge. Now in this uh, sheet of charge, this is the value of rho and this is the angle pi. Now if you move this ds over the infinite sheet of charge, what happens is at this point the value of rho is going to increase at the same time the value of pi is going to increase but the value of z is going to remain zero. Similarly if you take this differential area here again the value of pi is going to change and the distance from origin towards this ds that is rho is also going to change. So wherever we move this ds on the infinite sheet of charge the value of z is going to remain same but rho and pi are variable parameters here. So we have to choose the first option here. Here the value of rho changes, pi also changes as we move the ds all around the charge distribution. So the value of ds in this problem is ds is equal to rho d rho d pi. Now we shall substitute all these values in equation a. So equation a is written as e vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 double integral as it is a surface integral rho s instead of ds rho d rho d pi divided by rho square plus h square this is the value of modulus of r vector square into minus rho a rho plus h a z divided by rho square plus h square root. After reaching this step we have to look for symmetricity. That is if we have a charge plus q at this point we will have an equal amount of negative charge at the other side also. So the net effect will get cancelled at this point. So we can say that this is symmetrical about rho so we can avoid the component rho. So our equation becomes 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 double integral of rho s rho d rho d pi h a z divided by rho square plus h square the whole power 3 by 2. Here the power is 1 in this term the power is 1 by 2 so 1 plus 1 by 2 will yield you 3 by 2. Now we have to write the limits for the integral terms. For pi the limits are from 0 to 2 pi because to make a complete rotation from here to the other end it has to make an angular displacement of 0 to 2 pi so the limit is 0 to 2 pi for pi. For rho the radius the value of rho starts from 0 and it ends at infinity. As the dimension of this sheet is infinite, we can write the limit as 0 to infinity. It is uh, difficult to directly integrate uh, this uh, term. So we shall uh, prefer substitution method. We are going to substitute u square instead of rho square plus h square. Now let us substitute 
rho square plus h square is equal to u square. Partially differentiating this equation, 2 rho d rho is equal to 2u du. So we can write rho d rho is equal to u du. When the variables are changed from rho to u, the limits are also going to get changed. So if rho is equal to 0, then the value of u will be equal to h. This is obtained from this equation. Similarly, when the value of rho is equal to infinity, the value of u will become infinity. This is again by substituting the value of rho as uh, infinity in this equation. Now, this is the new limit for our uh, new equation. So, once again writing the previous equation, e vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 integral 0 to 2 pi other limit is h2 infinity rho s instead of rho d rho we have to replace u du d pi h a z divided by rho square plus h square is replaced as u square so u square the whole power 3 by 2 so this will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 integral h to infinity integral 0 to 2 pi rho s u du d pi h a z divided by u cube now we can cancel this so this will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 h2 infinity 0 to 2 pi rho s du by u square d pi h a z so e vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 now we are going to integrate this term that is when you integrate this term you will get minus 1 by u integrating d pi you will get pi the limit for uh, d pi will be 0 to 2 pi similarly the limit for u will be h to infinity we shall write the remaining terms rho s this one h a z h a z 1 by 4 pi epsilon minus 1 by infinity plus 1 by h 2 pi rho s h a z so 1 by infinity will be equal to 0 so 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 by h 2 pi rho s h a z so we can cancel this term h h can be cancelled so rho s a z by 2 epsilon 0 will be the final expression so this is the equation for electric field density for an infinite sheet of charge and its unit is volt per meter.